A big thanks to Borniac Smokers for sponsoring this video. I live in the Netherlands and I'm gonna show you our national Sunday roast. As a Dutch person, it doesn't become more authentical than this. Maybe frikandella, but you get the point. A roast on Sunday in the Netherlands used to be a big thing. Nowadays, it's kind of faded to the background, but it is something that people were proud of. Rolade is something that I grew up eating and you had pork roulade, you had beef roulade, and currently nowadays you also have chicken roulade, but it's not what it needs to be. I would skip that. But what my personal favorite was, was the pork rollada. And you can have a pork rollada made out of the pork belly, the pork loin, or the pork neck. Oh, if my mama made pork rollada made of the pork neck. Oh. So now I get to share with the world the traditional recipe for Dutch rollada. This is a pork neck. In Dutch, it's called procureur. And instantly you can see what this is all about. Beautiful dark red meat, white fat, very, very tasty and delicious. And since this is a working meat, it is going to be tougher than for instance, the loin. Is that a bad thing? Well, in the past people thought so because they love that piece of tender meat. But nowadays, fat in meat is becoming more and more popular because people enjoy the flavor. It's that question that everybody asks themselves nowadays. Why did grandma's food taste so good? Because of the fat. Now a rollade is not a rollade until you roll it up. For now, we don't have anything to roll up. It's already a roast. But to turn it into a rollade, we need to cut it open first. That means we're going to make it bigger so we can add more flavor to it. I'm gonna use my carving knife to make a long strokes to open it up. So while you're making those long strokes, just roll it open. Of course, I'm gonna season it with the authentic Dutch spices that would have been put on this rollade back in the good old days when we didn't have spice mixes. And the main feature of the spice would be fully. In English, that's called mace. And the mace spice is a sister spice to nutmeg. Nutmeg is the seed and mace is what is surrounding it, like the protective cover of the nutmeg. And why would they not just use the nutmeg? Because the flavors are so similar. Well, the reason is that over time, the nutmeg becomes a little bit of sour when it sits in the meat. So if you want to keep it for a longer time, you would use mace. And you know where I got that information from? Not my butcher, from his dad, the guy who's been doing this forever. I'm gonna sprinkle this on, and look at that beautiful orange color that I'm getting from the mace. And don't worry about adding too much flavor. You can put a lot of it on this beautiful roast. Of course, we have ground pepper. Now, I am using smoked white peña pepper because I love it so much. But you can use black pepper or even white pepper on the roulade. And of course, we're gonna need some salt to make everything pop in flavor. And then you can add a little more. I'm using a finishing salt. And if you're looking for the amounts, of course, you can find them on our website, pitmasterx.com. And there you can find the recipe of this beauty. Then it's time to roll it up. And now comes the big sensation, the thing that I put a little work into getting, because the way I'm used to having this is in a net, like a stocking, but then for roulades. Let me show you what I mean. I'm talking about this rocket right here. Oh, damn. It's kind of a unique thing to get your hands on. It is an official roulade stuffer machine, stuffing machine. But this thing helps me get this onto the roulade. This is the roulade stocking. And if you pull it in this direction, there's no give. If you pull it in the other direction, it is super, super stretchy. And that makes it perfect for roulade. Dutch people invented this stuff. That's, so it must be good. I'm so proud. We got dikes and we got this thing. And now all I need to do is push in my pork neck and then it comes out on the other side. Ooh, perfect. Look at that. That is absolute perfection. This is freaking amazing. You see how Dutch people are so smart? Look at this thing. Perfect rollada. Of course, if you can get your hands on one of these things, I can imagine if you live in the States or whatever, if you can get this net, you can buy it online. More so you're gonna put an Amazon link in. Amazon link supports our making our videos, so much appreciated if you buy of it. If you can't get your hands on it, of course you can tie it by hand, it's very easy to do. If you wanna get a net like this, then you're gonna have a, like a pipe, like a, I don't know, a rain pipe. Got a pipe, just shove it in, the net does the job. Now let's get some more seasoning. To make it easy for me to season the outside, I'm gonna put the seasoning on my cutting board. Starting with the salt, followed by the maize, and don't forget about the ground pepper. And then all I have to do is just roll my rollade 
over the spice mix, back and forth, and let it pick up the flavors of the spice mix. And then it should look like this. Now, traditionally, my mother would put this in a giant pan and sear it first and then slide it into the oven. However, I, as a barbecuer, would love to add a little bit of smoke to it. So I'm gonna put it in my smoker first. And this is it, the Borniac smoker. It's the smoker that I'm gonna use for my rollade. And the reason why is because it has temperature setting and it's gonna cook everything to perfection. And space when smoking is important because it means that the airflow and the smoke is gonna freely go around in this beautiful device and it's going to smoke my roulade to perfection. And since it's electrical, all I need to do is switch it on in the back and then choose the temperature that I want. And I'm gonna be smoking at a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. And now I can fill up this little hopper that sits on the side with the preferred smoke wood. And in the Netherlands, that is beach. I'm going to slide my rollade in. And of course, I'm gonna add a thermometer just to make sure that I get the temperature right. And I'm looking for a core temperature of around 65 degrees Celsius. Let's close the lid and let it cook. It's been three hours for the relade to be smoked. And the last hour I turned off the smoke on the smoke generator and now we have this beautiful looking roast. We build up a beautiful crust and at the same time we have that smoke color. My original plan was to smoke it first and then sear it off in a pan, but when I look at this crust, searing it would just be a crime. And the first thing that I need to do is let it rest for 20 minutes before carving into it. More waiting. I'm gonna take a knife and I'm going to open up the net that sits around my rollade. Then it's time to take out my carving knife and slice into this roast. Traditionally, it's served in thin little slices. The thinner the slices, the better the mouthfeel and it will appear to be more tender. And as you can see, this roast is a big success. It is so very, very juicy, so tender. I'm, I'm super, super happy with the result. This is what a true roulade looked like. Whoa, oh. mm. Well, you don't let it fall apart, but you get the point because look at how tender it is. Like it's a pork neck and still it's tender. But is it tasty? Does it taste like a true traditional Dutch pork belly? Yeah, I said pork belly? Mm. Pork rollade. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, and this is exactly it. It doesn't get more traditional than this from the Netherlands. So I'm giving it to you. If you're not used to the flavor profile of the nutmeg, it's your last. True.